Brenda Epperson has performed on television and on stage for over three decades. She is best known as playing Ashley Abbott on the popular soap, The Young and the Restless. Now an author, musician, and conference speaker, she says her journey hasn't been without its struggles. Today, she will share how God took her from broken to blessed. Well, from the outside looking in, people may assume you've had the perfect life, but things were not so easy for you, especially growing up. You went through some traumatic experiences. Can you tell us about that and how you were able to get through it? Well, um, my when I was before my father died, there was a, a family friend's son who had molested me, and I didn't tell anybody, and I kept it a secret, and. It just manifested in my life in ways of eating and anger, and uh, I was just really broken and in so much pain from being so violated. And shortly after that, my father also died. So all of that together just made for a really angry girl, and I was in trouble a lot and trying to deal with the pain. And I knew Jesus, but I knew him from photos, you know, the guy with the sheep and the kids. <laughs> I didn't understand. He's my heavenly father and the strength and the power, the love uh, that he gives to me and to all of us. And it wasn't until later on when we moved to Nevada that I accepted Christ into my heart in a little town, a little uh, log, you know, like candlelit surface. And that's when I felt a love that I'd never felt before. But prior to that, I was running around angry and broken and upset and really sad and hurting. I think a lot of people are because they haven't dealt with past pains. Now, speaking of brokenness, you've talked about the importance of giving your brokenness to God. Right. Why was that so important for you? Well, we can't do it on our own. You know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. But on your own, you know, we're limited, but God is limitless. Mm -hmm. But when we're broken, God then doesn't just glue us back together. He makes us better than we were before and brighter and shinier and more new. And sometimes when we're broken and when we're the most broken is when we can be used the most because it gives us so much compassion for those people who are hurting and are broken. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, God using your brokenness and doing something better with it. You <laughs> decided with $100 in your pocket yeah. to move back to North Hollywood. Right. And when you did, you landed a role, a lead role in one of the most popular soap operas, yeah. The Young and the Restless. Yes. Tell us about that experience. It was incredible. I'd never acted a day in my life. I was a singer my whole life. I sang on, sh on um, in church and on different shows and I was gonna move to California to go sing. And you know, I never had plans of acting. And I had $100 in my pocket and I prayed and my car broke down on the way to <laughs> Los Angeles. I um, landed this show on The Young and the Restless while I was waitressing. The girl who formerly had played Ashley, I met her and she said, I'm not gonna renew my contract. You should, you should try out for this part. And I thought, sure. And I've got food <laughs> slopped all over me and you know, I'm, I'm sweating, I'm waitressing and the furthest thing from glamour. And I started calling and God opened one door after another after another. He put me there for a strategic reason. And I made a, a really conscious decision early on that when I came to Hollywood that I was gonna affect the world and not let the world infect me because it's a, a business of much darkness. There's a lot of darkness that surrounds it, so. And in, in your years yeah. in The Young and the Restless, what, did you have difficult moments where, you know, there was a conflict or anything like that? I had a lot of difficult moments. Um, I would bring my Bible sometimes and people would make fun of me, um, ridicule me. Uh, I, there were scenes where I felt uncomfortable. Luckily on daytime, they could only go so far with, you know, removing your clothes or what whatnot. <clears throat> but there were parts that I said, I'm not doing that. And I would get in fight with the producers and it was hard because I stood. And I, I took a stand and people respected me for it, but I had to fight for it. It didn't just come easy and it, it, it was hard. It was really hard a lot of times, but again, people respected it and God blessed and honored it. Now for people who are Christians who are hoping to you know, be in the industry and, and be a light, what advice would you give them? I would tell that person or people that wanna be in the business, you better know who you are in Christ and what you are not willing to give up because there is a line 
that becomes so blurred in Hollywood that you just don't even know what's right from wrong anymore because you just step a little bit over. You just, oh, I'm just going to take my clothes off or, oh, I'm just going to do that. And the next thing you know, you're doing things you never imagined. I sat down with actresses who said, I'll remain nameless, every time I took my clothes off, every time I did this in films because I got this money or the producer said, just do this or take it further, I gave a piece of myself away that I can never get back. And don't do it. Just don't do it. That's what I would tell them. Don't do it. Now, you're involved in a lot. You were a singer, and you yes, continue to sing. I do. And you started a women's uh, conference ministry. Yes. So tell us about that. Well, I'm a singer, and I just, I'm really excited. Really, God has brought my music back, you know, into my life and opened a lot of doors. I just uh, finished my first single, uh, my most recent single, I Cry Freedom. And it's a real departure for me. It's, it's country Christian. And I uh, never thought I'd be singing country Christian, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's out now. I'm very excited about it. And... Um, there's a women's conference that, uh, that I also do that uh, in 2012, God whispered in my ear, you know, I want you to start a women's conference. I never thought in my life that I would be standing up, not only singing, but, you know, encouraging women. And um, God's using my life in ways I never imagined, quite frankly.